Hello everyone, it's Dr. Desiree Alexander, aka Educator Alexander, and here's your five minute tip for this week. I'm going to show you five minutes of getting started with Canva. There's so much you can do with Canva, so this five minutes is really just enough to get you started. Don't forget to click the thumbs up button and like this video and subscribe to the channel. All right, getting started, you can create your free account using Canva. And then you can also, if you're a teacher, you can get a free account. I will put the link to that underneath the video. So notice it says, what will you design? And you can come here and choose, I want a social media post, I want whatever, and go from there. Or you can use the powerful search and search for things too. So I don't see Twitter post on here, but I can say, hey, I wanna do a Twitter post. So don't, just because you don't see it on the list does not mean it doesn't exist. There's so much here. So if I hover over, I'll see the ones that I can use for free. And if it doesn't say free, that means I can't use those unless I have a paid account. Or like I said, if you're a teacher, you can get a paid account for free. Uh, but I'm going to just use this free one. And now I'm in the editing screen. So it'll tell you when everything self saves. It'll tell you right here. You can always go back if you make a mistake. So you can just come and click, you know, if I wanted to put, you know, December 25th, click and change the words that are already on here. You can also like things like this that are grouped together. Always look at your toolbar and play with all of the buttons. So if I wanted to ungroup this, I can just click the three dots and notice there's more stuff under here. So click and play with Canva. So I'm going to ungroup and then click off of it. Now I should be able to click on it and move stuff around where it's not grouped. So it's little things like that where you have to click off of it, then go back to it sometimes. If I want to change the color, for example, I can come here and change the uh, text color and you'll have colors here for me. If I want to change the color of the box itself, I'm going to have to go right underneath the text box and click the box itself. And then my my i'm still trying to click the box there we go click the box itself and now i can do the fill color of the box so there you go so little stuff like that if i didn't want something i can just click it and use delete on my keyboard or i can click it and use the trash can notice there's all kinds of other stuff one of the most awesome things that i use is spacing because sometimes the 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 words are too close together the letters are too close together you can actually space those out more it's all kind of really awesome design effects like that that you can use and of course you have your size and your fonts and all that good stuff now just like with google tools when you click on something the toolbar changes so just keep that in mind if i want to move this text box you see these are grouped so again that ungroup button is going to be your best friend click off of it and now i can ungroup it so that group ungroup button is going to be your best friend but if i wanted to change the template you have these buttons over here too so these are my templates if i wanted to change it and i can replace the current so now there you go, or I can, you know, go back to what I recently was using, but you can also add a page and have it be multiple pages. If you're doing like a slideshow or anything like that, you have your elements button. Some of your elements move, some of them don't. So just again, play around, but notice you can always click see all and you can see, see how I clicked and now that element is there and I can change it and type on it and all that good stuff. You have your uploads. You can always upload images and upload, you know, flyers and logos and whatever you want to do. So you can add those to your, um, I'm going to add my Bitmoji. There you go. So you can add those to your, to your Canva as well. You have text and all kinds of different types of text. And then you have your headings. You have audio. You have videos. You can connect your Bitmoji account. So your Bitmojis are there as well um logos and then you see that you have different stuff you can connect now again some of this is going to be paid some of it's going to be free so just keep that in mind notice that all of my changes are saved so i can come here i don't want to publish it straight to twitter so i can click the three dots and now i can download it as a video as a picture as a png whatever you want to do so you can always as a gift uh so you can always do what they tell you right here but you can always click the three dots and do what you want to do if I want to download it as a PNG, download, and now it's downloading for me to my computer. I can click home and go back to my home page, 
all of your designs will be saved under all designs but you can also come here and actually create like little folders to keep your designs in if you want to duplicate a design you come back to your home page click the three dots and you can make a copy of it you can download it from here and all of that good stuff so again just enough to get you in trouble that was five minutes of canvas so you can see that it's not difficult you just have to click around and play with it good luck